and the victim's loved ones are talking about her fighting for her life. An alert being issued by the Oakland County Sheriff's Office. This after a gunman opens fire on an 80-year-old woman in broad daylight. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. The victim in critical condition tonight shot in the head. The shooter still on the run and the victim's loved ones are talking about her fighting for her life. This all unfolding on South Marshall near Whitmore Street in Pontiac. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykhead has the plea for help to track down the person responsible. Deputies say an 80 year old woman was sitting inside her parked car inside of a neighborhood when someone came up and shot her in the head. Now they're continuing to search for that shooter. Deputies say just after 5 p.m. on Sunday, a cowardly criminal fired numerous gunshots from a 9 millimeter weapon, striking 80 year old Charlene Jones in the head. Her son reflecting on what took place. From what I understand, it was probably drug related. I think they was trying to aim at someone else and it was a a mistake being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Here on South Marshall near Whitmore, witnesses too afraid to talk on camera say they took cover. Bullet holes and broken glass, a snapshot of the terror that came in an instant. The victim's loved ones now thanking first responders who rushed their mother, a hospital volunteer, to the emergency room. We recovered several shell casings in the street. One of the shots came right through the windshield and hit her right in her eye. The victim was at the scene for roughly 30 minutes prior, waiting for help to jumpstart her battery. Doctors are now waiting for swelling to subside to perform surgery to remove bullet fragments. Deputies say this and other drive-by shootings impacting victims caught in the crossfire must stop, and the community must take a stand against it. Well, this is what you can do to help me. Help me find the person that done this. Someone's probably watching right now and knows this person that's done this, my mother. And they know me also as well. Everyone's been saying, let me know what I can do to help you. Well, this is what you can do to help me. Help me find the person that done this. Derek Washington still reeling after learning someone had shot his 80 year old mother in the face during a drive by shooting in Pontiac. Charlene Jones remains in critical condition as doctors prepare to remove bullet fragments from her eye. That was, was one of my major concerns that she may or may not make it through the surgery, but she is of good spirits right now. We're told it happened Sunday night after Miss Jones and two older men had visited a home on Marshall. The trio realized the car wouldn't start and flagged down a familiar face to give them a jump. Miss Jones was inside the car at the time. He hadn't got back in the car yet. Here comes the car driving by somebody leaning out the back window with a semi-automatic rifle firing shots. We recovered several shell casings. Washington spoke to his mother who said the gunman opened fire after it appeared he recognized one of the men. The bullet went through the windshield, missing the man and striking Charlene in the eye. I think they was trying to aim at someone else and it was a mistake being at the wrong place at the wrong time, but you still have to be punished. It's disgusting, okay? There's, it, it, it just gives me chills. I get goosebumps just thinking about it. Oakland County Under Sheriff McCabe tells Fox 2 based on witnesses, they believe the shooter who fired a semi-automatic rifle was driving in a black Jeep Cherokee with a silver top. It's beyond belief and quite frankly, we're asking for the public's assistance on this. We've had unfortunately a series of drive-by shootings this year in the city of Pontiac and it looks like it's a tit for tat between a couple of different groups and it's retaliation, whether this is part of that, whether this is a case of mistaken identity. Washington couldn't imagine anyone wanting to hurt his beloved 80 year old mother who has dedicated the last several years tending to the sick and injured as a hospital volunteer. He's begging the public to do the right thing. I know they say snitches get stitches, but I will take your stitches. You send them to me because it's my mother. If it was your mother, you know me, I would help you. And everyone knows that. She was sitting in her car Sunday afternoon when she was shot in the face. This is beyond belief, you know. Poor little old lady sitting in her car minding her own business. It's ridiculous. Tonight, that 80-year-old woman is in critical, con critical condition with bullet fragments near her eyes after being shot in Pontiac. Yeah, both her family and the Oakland County Sheriff's Office speaking out, hoping someone comes forward with information about that shooter. Mara McDonald is live at the Sheriff's Office tonight. Mara, first off, how is she doing? Kimberly, she's really hurt. You know, that bullet came in right through here. So all of this is broken. Her eyes are swollen shut and she's got those bullet fragments everywhere. 80 year old Charlene Jones is her family's rock star. My, my mom, 
She still has her glam going at 80, is a dedicated volunteer at St. Joe's Hospital and everyone's all around favorite. I hope this doesn't take away from her striving to keep on being the best and showing me that she is the best. Ms. Jones was out with two friends, 59 and 64, looking at rental property Sunday when her car broke down. A good Samaritan offered to give them a jump. The sheriff says the next thing anybody knows is what they think is a black Jeep Cherokee rolls down South Marshall and an AK-47 starts spraying bullets. One of the shots came right through the windshield and hit her right in her eye. Shattering the bridge of her nose and now bullet fragments are lodged near her eyes. She's in critical condition. And everyone's been saying, let me know what I can do to help you. Well, this is what you can do to help me. Help me find the person that done this. Who precisely the target was is still under investigation, but it sure wasn't Miss Jones. I know they say snitches get stitches, but I will take your stitches. You send them to me because it's my mother. If it was your mother, you know me, I would help you. Back here live, Derek tells me that his mom is alert. She knows what's happened. Um, and really right now she's trying to tell her children and her grandchildren to try and calm down and hold it together because she says she's gonna be okay.